One of the basic hitches when using slings is called the choker hitch. The choker hitch is formed when one leg of the sling connects back to itself. A choker hitch does not have the full capacity of the straight leg vertical hitch. Based on the type of sling used and the standard it must adhere to, the choker hitch capacity can vary from 70% to 80% of the straight leg vertical hitch. Choker hitches formed in wire rope slings are stated to be approximately 75% of the single leg hitch. Synthetic slings and chain slings are stated to be 80% of the single leg capacity. This capacity assumes that the angle of choke is at least 120 degrees. Some standards, such as the one used by the American Petroleum Institute, require slings of all types when used in a choker hitch application to have a capacity of no more than 70% of the straight leg vertical hitch. The sling's capacity is reduced further if the angle of choke is less than 120 degrees. In fact, if the sling is bent back over itself with the angle of choke approaching zero degrees, the resulting capacity of the choker hitch can be even less than 50% of the straight leg vertical hitch. A single leg choker hitch is easy and convenient to use and can work on simple, short loads, but it does not always provide the load control and grip needed for safe and effective rigging. Sometimes, multiple leg slings choked on both ends of the load are required to gain the load control necessary. If choker hitches are used, the user must always ensure that the slings cannot slip or slide along the load. It is important to note that a standard choker hitch does not provide a full 360 degree contact with the load. A double wrap choker hitch is better for handling those hard to handle loads and bundles of materials like rods or pipe that require more sling contact to hold them in place. Make sure the slings do not overlap at the bottom of the load when you form the double wrap choker. As a final note, the user must make sure that all slings are protected from edges, corners, protrusions, or abrasive surfaces in order to protect the sling from any damage. Hardware can be used to form the various choker hitches. The use of hardware simplifies the connection as well as the operation of the slings used in choker hitches. Whether it is grab hooks for chain slings, shackles and sliding choker hooks for wire rope slings, or the webbing sling hook for synthetic choker hitches, in all of these cases, the hardware allows the connection and disconnection of the choker hitch without pulling the sling body through the eye of the sling. When using chain, a cradle grab hook provides the full rating of the vertical leg capacity. When using wire rope, a screw pin shackle with the pin in the eye offers a simple method of connecting. When using a web sling, the sliding choker hook prevents bunching and simplifies the connection and disconnection of the sling while helping to prevent friction melting that could occur when rapidly taking up slack of a web sling used in a choker hitch.